Hi guys, so today we're going to be making a tuna and mushroom dish. Alright, so what we're going to do, I'm going to add some ghee to my pot here. I have a little bit of coconut oil here. I'm going to add some ghee to it as well. Okay, and what we're going to do is start to saute. Now what I have is some onion one jalapeno pepper and one seasoning pepper. So let's saute these things. I'm going to add a little bit of pink Himalayan salt to the onions and peppers. So I'm going to leave this to saute a while so that my um, onions can get a little bit translucent and then I'll be back. Okay, what I'm going to do now is add in my mushrooms, one bell pepper and one tomato. So let's cook all of these things. I'm going to add an all-purpose seasoning blend. If you're interested, I will leave a link in the description for the seasoning blend that I'm using. All right, so we're going to leave the mushrooms, the peppers, and the tomatoes to cook for about three to four minutes. What I'll do to help to trap the heat in, to help the mushrooms to cook, I will just cover this. What I needed to add and I forgot was some ginger garlic paste. So I'm just going to add a little bit of this ginger garlic paste to it. Then we're going to mix this in, then cover it again. As a matter of fact, you know what? I think I'm not going to cover it because the, the, the mushrooms, uh, they, it's going to spring some water. So I'm just going to leave this open as is until my timer goes off. All right, so I tasted for salt and it does need a little bit of salt. So I'm going to add some pink Himalayan salt to it. All right, so at this point, we're going to add in two tins of tuna to this. I've already drained my tuna. And all we need to do is warm through our tuna. If you want this um, spicy, you could add cayenne pepper or chilies to this. As a matter of fact, what I will do, I think I'm going to add a little bit of red chili flakes. I have some herbs that I picked from the garden, which was some basil and dill. I'm just going to add it to it as well. There you have it, folks, our mushroom and tuna dish. Enjoy!